All right, welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Donna Chow and I'm your host and your moderator for today's class. eLotus is your leading provider for continued education for acupuncturists and today's webinar is Understanding Jimmy Chang's Clinical Proven Formulas Part 1 presented by Dr. Jimmy Chang. There are a total of six classes and today's class being class one with formulas for pain. If you enjoyed today's class, you can save 10% on his next five webinars if you register for them all at once. So today's webinar will be from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, and we will have one break. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and get a copy of the lecture notes from the Blue Course Access page in your account. And if you'd like to join the chat, please set your chat preference right now to everyone so that we can all see your response. And for the questions for our speaker, please type them into the question box in your Zoom control panel, and he will answer the questions as time allows. And finally, the quiz and video replay will both be available tomorrow, and you will receive an email notification when they are ready. And as a reminder, this is just for people who have paid for the class. For our Watch It Free group, you can go ahead and still purchase the class and receive CEUs as well as the video replay. Okay, so our speaker today is Dr. Jimmy Chang, a doctor of oriental medicine trained in Taiwan and a licensed acupuncturist in California. He has over 40 years of concentrated clinical experience treating over 500,000 patients and applying his expertise in differential diagnosis and herbal prescription. In today's class, you will learn the tried and true formulas from Dr. Jimmy Chang as the master of herbology. He will explore the art and science of his unique herbal combinations. You will learn about a range of herbs for pain relief as well as how to identify the pulse indications associated with specific conditions and how to prescribe a unique herbal formula for your patient. There is no need to reinvent the wheel. Take what has worked through Dr. Chang's clinic and see results in your practice tomorrow. Dr. Chang has previously taught numerous courses with us, which is now available for purchase as distant learning CEU videos. Dr. Chang is the person to learn for, from for if you want to be able to feel a patient's pulse and come up with a custom formula from the reading. If you want to cultivate your pulse diagnostic and herbal skills, he is the person to learn from. When I return from when I return to my computer, I'll post the link for you in the chat room. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and begin today's class and welcome Dr. Jimmy Chang. All right. All right, guys. All right. Okay, Tina, uh, you want to go ahead and start the uh, intro? All right. I'm over here. Hi, everybody. Yeah, we I'm in a different room here. joining the class with you guys. And Dr. Chang has asked me to do the um, first few slides to introduce his class. So can you guys type into the um, chat room if you're completely new to Dr. Chang's pulse diagnosis and also herbal um, prescription? If you're totally new, please type in new. Let me see how many of you are new. Well, quite a few. Okay, welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly go over a few intro for you, so then um, she gonna do. You no, know, you won't be lost. Can you all hear me? Okay, just I forgot to do a mic check. Yes. Okay, sounds good. So Sam, can you help me advance to the next slide, please? Okay. Just quickly, I'm going to take about five minutes max to describe a few things to the newbies. So then you won't be so lost when we start to talk about his formulas. So pretty much, I want to just tell you guys, um, you know, this general background. So the first question, you know, people ask is how were the formulas invented? So Dr. Chang pretty much in his clinic, he orders these extract um, powder from us and when he gets an inspiration or when he reads certain classical textbooks, he um, would have different new herbs that he has in mind to use for different conditions because he's always improving in his clinic. So as a result, new formulas 
uh, are invented all the time, or you know, he he combines different herbs, and as a result, uh, through trial and error with different patients and their feedback, and then he has a set formula that he feels is good for a certain condition. So um, that's how he invents his formula. So then he gives it a special name. Okay. So the second question that people usually ask is, what kind of herbs does Dr. Chang use? So he uses exclusively our extract powder. He doesn't use the capsules and he doesn't use raw herbs. So if you are not familiar with extract powder, you can, um, Donna, can you put in the website for evherbs.com and you can read more about how the herbs are extracted and how it is compared to raw herbs and all that good stuff. So you're free to choose whatever type of format that's most suitable for your patients. Um, most of Dr. Chang's patients are Chinese, Hispanic, and American. So then he just gives them the powder in either 100 grams or 150 grams format. Okay, so I put down the link for you to take a look at Dr. Chang's clinic and how it looks and how he makes his formula. So you can take a look at that. Okay, so next slide, please. So the evolutions of the formulas. Okay, here is what, what, what will get a little bit confusing for some of you because Dr. Chang being an artist, he has several names for his different formulas. And sometimes he calls the formula the same name, but he has already changed the ingredients. Okay, so for those of you guys who are follow, who have been following him, today you're gonna see that two formulas, ingredients are slightly changed, the circulation sun gel as well as the astringent complex. So he has found a, mm, a different uh, combination or different herb to add to it instead. So what we're gonna do from now on is if it's called the same name, but the ingredients are different, just so that we know it's different, I'm gonna add the 2.0 at the end of the name. So then this way we know which version he's using, okay? So the next question is, what is Fang Jia Fang? So if people will ask that question all the time if you are not familiar with using extract powder. Fang Jia Fang pretty much is the, is the idea of adding formula plus formula. It's kind of like the idea of Ba Zhen Tang, right? Ba Zhen Tang is the combination of Si Jun Zi Tang and Si Wu Tang to form Ba Zhen Tang. So in Dr. Cheng's clinic, he uses a lot of different formulas and he combines formulas to yield his secret formulas. Uh, this way is a lot simpler because if you combine three or four formulas, you most likely will be dealing with 20 to 40 herbs. So that's a lot of single herbs to open if you want to mix it that way from single herbs. So then he would just use formula plus formula. And I also link the um, YouTube video for you to watch so that you can get an idea, more of an idea of what that all means. Okay, so I'm just going to give you just this very general intro because uh, most people already know. But if you want to know more, um, feel free to watch this YouTube video. Okay, so all the formulas used to add up to 100 grams. But Dr. Cheng like to he likes to um, do 150 grams now because most patients come from afar, and also if you do 150 grams, it is a little bit better in that patient will see better results because it's a little bit longer, right? Because most most of the time in one bottle you won't see too much of a difference unless you are unless you're treating some things like sore throat in which the next day or you know the in two days you should see something already. But most of the chronic disorders, if you give them 150 grams, you should see better results. So then when they come back for a reevaluation, you know how to modify the formula better. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so now some of you will ask, well, do I have to mix the herbs myself? Um, yes, for most of his special formulas, because, um, you know, that's how Dr. Cheng does it. He has a full pharmacy, and then you just kind of mix and match depending on your patient's need. Now for some of the popular ones that he has used over and over again, we have made them into um, a collection formula. So they are pre-mixed already and pre-decocted. So then this way you don't have to mix it yourself. And he has certain formulas that he has with us that we have pre-mixed. And I can, I think there is a list um, that Donna put up as part of the lecture notes that you can see. Uh, for the list of the collection formulas. So if you don't want to mix it yourself, feel free to um, just get it pre-mixed already. Okay. And then let's go to the next slide. 
Okay, so that's it on the introduction. The next six ideas are Dr. Chang's strategy for relieving pain. So I'm gonna hand this over to Dr. Chang so he can go over his strategies. And depending on what the patient presents and the pulses and the year findings, he will combine these different strategies, sometimes just one strategy, sometimes two to three, sometimes two, sometimes all of them, you know. But I rarely see him do all of them. Usually it's about two to three, usually to move blood, right, to reduce swelling and to reduce inflammation. Those are the three most strategies that he uses for pain relieving. Okay, so let's um, hand the mic over to Dr. Chang, and so he can take over from here. Hi, Dr. Chang. It's still... Can you do a quick mic microphone test? <clears throat> okay, can All you right. hear me now? Thank you. Okay, thank this you. Is... I'm muted. No, it's okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me now? Yeah. Ah, okay, today we're going to talk about six... Uh, uh, pain relieving strategies with herbs. First, move the blood. Secondly, reduce the swelling. Third one is reduce inflammation. And the fourth is open and relieve spasm. Uh, warm the young, tonify chi. That's not necessarily important, but anyway, well, we're going to do it tonight. Uh, today. <clears throat> okay, we have several. Uh, wait, what's wrong with this? Uh, combination, we call a compost here today for you. If you learn it, this, you can use it right away in your office and you will see the result very, very fast, even much faster than your acupuncture treatment. First is the mighty combo uh, that for all the kind of lumps in the body, <clears throat> mental disorder, pain, and poor circulation. And uh, you have to justify the, the uh, uh, diagnosis by yourself, but I'm telling you what this uh, combo is for. The second one is the pain combo for various unknown pains. You don't know, know a lot of people have a lot of pains and most of the time the Western doctor cannot tell why the pain is there or why the pain occurred in a long time ago. But you can use my pain combo to deal with a lot of variety of different kinds of pain. Third is Circulation Sun Jiao 2.0, second edition, specialized in treating various kinds of a lower abdominal pain which was caused by blood stasis or man, nigga, the stagnation, menstrual pain and blood stasis in a woman. Not necessarily in a woman, it's also some uh, for people, uh, for, for men and male and, and young and old, not necessarily for the abdominal. Sometimes their feet, their, their legs are swollen with a dark uh, stasis. And this is the perfect uh, case for that. But when you decide to use the circulation sanjiao and all my blood moving combination, you should notice, you should know if the patient is taking blood thinner or not. If, if the patient is taking some kind of a blood thinner or aspirin, you have to be careful with your moving the blood. And the, the number four is the most uh, extinguished design for me, astringent complex treat swelling and inflammation of various organs. And how do we know there's an inflammation or swelling condition in the body? Then you have to rely on your a pulse diagnosis. If you're not so good about pulse diagnosis, then the ear point will give you good clues for that. Well, <clears throat> it would be better if you would learn my pulse diagnosis. Diagnosis system is very, very useful. And the spasm combo, in this case, you might need to, to know a little bit about pulse diagnosis because uh, ear sign cannot show the spasm condition. Treat various muscle and bone spasm, Sp uh, spasm cramping pain, yes, the, the contraction, menstrual pain and the lower abdominal area. Not necessary for the women, men too. And the people with the uh, hernia or swelling, uh, prostate, something like that. The number six is the opener, specialized in treating cold symptoms. <laughs> yes, cold symptoms, we uh, I like to call it a constriction. The pulse will be very thin and tight, tightening spasm, pain caused by various meridians. And the opener will open up a traffic jam in the meridian. 
it, the traffic jam, uh, you should consider, you should imagine that there, there's not, there's no rock or car accident in the highway. It's only the narrowing of the highway. For example, there used to be four lanes, now it blocked three lanes. Only one lane is passable, then definitely there will be some jam. So we're going to open it up by our opener. Okay. Hey, we have a number seven, no? Okay. I remember I have a seven. Okay, it doesn't matter. So we have six major combination for pain. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions so far? Okay, let's begin. Okay, this is a general simple uh, introduction about my pause. Remember, this is the high bone here. In your textbook, you put your middle finger on top of the high bone to get a result. No, it's wrong. It's been wrong for 4,000 years. So my approach is that put your uh, index finger and middle finger, the middle, in, let put high bone in between these two fingers. That's the chun guan shi. Then, then you can get a good, precise diagnosis from the pulse feedings. So this is the high bone, huh? It's not un under your middle finger. It's between the chun and guan, the index finger and middle pink finger. Okay, let's get on with the real business. First is the mighty combo, treats various lump. Lump, <clears throat> how do you know this lump? The pause will show, but sometimes it doesn't. You can just verify it by the um, by my ear point, it's very accurate. Inflammation, mental disorder, pain, poor circulation. So this, this combo is not only for blood stagnation, also good for all kinds of inflammation. How do we have inflammation for the pain? It could be the acute injury, like twisted ankle, or twisted arm or whatever, all the pain caused by a uh, new injury. By saying the new, it can be that things happened, uh, occurred, took place in the past few weeks, not just yesterday. But the old various, uh, the injury can be years before, but also we can take care of them all, everything. And the reason I I invented this, this, this combination, because I got a, a kind of strange feeling that everybody, all the patients, has some kind of a lump inside. Maybe cannot be detected by MRI or X-ray or the pulse, but I believe there's always something there. So I, des I, I, I designed that the entire combination uh, that treats lots of uh, interesting cases, which you, you might, it's kind of difficult to imagine. But anyway, let's see the head. Uh, I'm sorry, let's see the ear point. See this? This one is the uh, testicle or ovary for women. And this is the lump actually is above, we will say it's above the, uh, the testicle or could be the uh, ovarian cyst or could be the uh, prostate swelling. And this, because the color is not red, so I don't see much inflammation there. But anyway, this is a lump. He or she might, definitely will have some symptoms. And see, this is the head. See the darkness in there? This, this area is the head. So I can tell there is some kind of an old injury, old blood stagnation in the patient's head. Okay? Could be some kind of a, a trauma or not, but he will definitely have some headaches sometimes. And this one, this one is the uh, uh, neck and shoulder. Okay, I didn't circle it because it's not for that. And this area, you have to look from this side to get the side view of this in, inner part of the uh, reach is the breast area. If you see a darkness there, that means it's a lump in the breast. If you see a red color there, it might be some inflammation. Okay. Where's the color? Oh. 
if you see something red there, there's inflammation and maybe some hyperplasia, uh, the swelling of the uh, breast tissues. If you see a dark spot there, then there's blood stagnation. See, there's a little darkness here. And there's no darkness there, but still our, my formula still works, okay? And uh, let me give you, a, give you a hint. If, if you see a lady, one ear is red, the other ear is dark, then that's possible breast cancer. Be careful, huh? So this combination, I use Lushan Mo Yao to uh, monetize all the bad cells growing in the patient's body and Sanlin Erzu to destroy all kind of lump, no matter where. And something could be, could be very not detectable or invisible, but still, the sending us will work. So I, I used it a lot. And this zi zi, <laughs> zi zi is a very interesting fruit. There's an old Chinese saying, one fruit of this zi, zi one day you keep the cancer away. So the zi, zi is very good for cancerous condition, which cause inflammation and stagnation. And for all kind of a swelling, tissues or organs or bones or joints, whatever. Anything with a fire, you can use the uh, a zi, zi So how do you know the pulse signs? The pulse signs usually with this condition, the pulse will be scattered in my system. It's called scattered pulse. The pulse is very deep and not jumping. Or you can simply look at the patient's face it usually can be very dark and with brownish color and, and very dimmed skin, very looks kind of a dirty and not healthy. And for zi, zi is for jumpy pulse. So sometimes it's a combination of stagnation and inflammation. If you have problem to extinguish them, then you just simply use my 100% of my this magical combo. Okay, my multi combo. Okay, this is and zi zi is a red color, but it's heat cooling herb, so it's good for clearing the, the heart fire. So, what is the heart fire? It's mental disorder. This goes with the hook pause. Remember in my pulse energy book, the hook pulse means the upper is very jumpy and the rest of them are kind of a relatively low. The hook means hard fire. And in other words, it means Shao Yin condition. Shao Yin fire. Shao Yin means hard. Actually, there's also a kidney fire there. So how come there's a kidney fire? That's hormonally uh, related. So whenever this um, lady with a menopause condition or other kind of a mental disorder, if a hook pause appeared, then you can just simply use my zi, zi. It works very well. When you, when you use a, 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 the, the combination of all my medicine herbs and when you put into the bottle, I usually give them 150 gram per, per treatment, per bottle. If you want to use 100, okay. Then you have to, I have, I always make a uh, decision. How much percentage for heat clearing medicine? How much percentage for blood moving? I think you should put that idea in your mind when you start your prescription. In this case, like look at from the uh, combination, looks like 80% of them are blood moving. Only one is, uh, sorry, okay. On, no, no. 80% is blood moving herbs. Only one zi, zi is for heat. You can adjust the, uh, uh, the, the percentage by yourself. 
depends on the patient's condition. Okay. 好，这怎么清掉 ？OK， 这里。Uh, any questions so far? Oh, oh, oh. Any questions? Question: When the formula change, we will be updating clinical menu.、Hmm. Okay, no problem. So I always put in the big jar. It is premix in my in my office. So when I use it,、uh, I just simply write down the name and mighty combo or whatever. My lady will put them for the patients. Very easy, much easier than acupuncture. No question. Okay, let's go down to the second one. Pain combo for various unknown pains. So most of the people have pains. Usually, a hundred percent. Nobody can tell me that he doesn't or she doesn't have any pain. So, if, if you're not sure the pain is coming coming from、uh, internal organ, or from arthritis, or from injury, or from from the、uh, the the tendons, the do my the my period pain. Or the、uh, stomach pain, or gallbladder pain, or joint pain. I mean the ne neck and shoulder, or headaches. So,、oh, okay. Then you simply you just save you a lot of a, a trouble. Just just use use this pain combo. Various unknown pain, but. And how do I make the diagnosis that to know that there's a pain patient's、uh, body? Okay, we can use the ear sign. If you're not too sure about my post diagnosis, let let me take a look at this. See, there's a lump. This is the hip area. So this is a bulb. That that's a lump. See that? And this area is the neck and shoulder. Okay. And this, this again, this, this it should be a man or something. See the lump, see, see the lump around the、uh, genital area. It's dark though. There's blood stagnation, and also here too. So this this patient has too many、uh, blood stagnation and lump at the same time. This one is flat, so it's not off. I mean the the, the surface is flat, so it's pure darkness.、Uh, I mean brownish color. That does the stagnation, and this one is popped out, like a, like 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 a little bean. So this lump. So you can choose to use my first mighty combo or this one too, and this is neck and shoulder a little bit, huh? But you see this color here. This is the stomach. It's kind of pale. That means the patient is possible being anemic, anemic, not in a blood supply. So don't use this one too much, huh? And this one is very interesting. This one definitely showing that the patient's lumbar is bulging out, pressing the, the neurotic,、uh, the, the 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 sciatica nerve. So you can use my previous mighty combo. It will get result fast and interesting. And for this one again, ooh, see this lump, lump in the hip area. This lump can be some swelling tissues or old injury, or people who had、uh, operation or had their bone marrow drawn or other kind of a operation will cause this too. And this area is, is the、uh, thyroid, and this one is neck and shoulder. So this neck and shoulder is deformed. That the shape of the neck and shoulder is very funny, popping out. So this is the best. A、uh, uh, situation to use my first combo and this one too. If you don't have the first one, just simply use this. Okay. Any questions so far? You?、Hmm? Oh. Okay. Let me talk about this one. Lu Xiangmo Yao. I use a, a lot in my office for all kind of pain and. 
not for joint, not for sciatica pain, not for arthritis, also for all kind of internal organ pain. So <coughs> you can just, you must have it in your office. Zhe Chong Yin is also for pain. <coughs> Most of the time I use it for the period pain, but just, just good. But most interesting is the Pu Yin. Pu Yin was used for acute injury. Fell, fell down off the floor <coughs> or hurt yourself by, by lifting heavy stuff or any kind of acute soft tissue damage, we use Pu Yin. You can use it all the time and you can add it to <coughs> my previous mighty combo or you can use Zhu Zhu all together. So if you want to make it simple, okay, just use this one. This one is especially good. Actually, it's not designed for joint pain, not for arthritis or <coughs> a 50-year-old shoulder or, or tennis elbow, not for that. Remember, is for internal organ pain, for like stomach, chest pain, uh, gallbladder pain and the, uh, the urination pain from uh, kidney stone or not, or for just any kind of internal organ pain, like uh, like ladies' menstrual pain, things like that. So I use the Zhe Chong Yin majorly for internal organs. Okay. And the pause sign. Ooh. It's jumpy, jumpy, and jumpy. Very forceful. Jumpy. If Puyin is hard to find, use Hu Zhang. Hu Zhang is good too. <clears throat> Hu Zhang actually is very uh, in a wide spectrum. It can clear the old dead blood. It can cure the new injury. It works, it works like some kind of a astringent uh, uh, herbs and good for cough, for respiratory system, for all kind of uh, acute injury and, and the pain, headaches, even for even for high blood pressure, it's very useful. You can just simply use it. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this Lu Xiang Mo Yao is a must. You must keep them in the uh, all the formulas for any kind of pain. Like again, that's only is for internal organs, stomach pain, or something. This <clears throat> patient, the stomach is something not so right here, but maybe not, doesn't hurt him. So it uh, just depends on what the patient is asking. Huh? Okay, any questions so far? So Zhe Chong Yin is used, you said, for internal organ pain, right? Hello, Dr. Cheng? What is the hook, pause? Please, go to my pause energy book. <clears throat> you don't have one, buy one from Tina. You don't know what hook pause is, hook? It's the part of a heart pause system relating to the heart. Does Mighty Combo work for skin flash caused by damp heat? Nope. Is this appropriate for patients who have bright red bumps on the skin? Yes, absolutely. Why is this formula for Zhe Chong Yin? Go to the Tina's formula book and read it. Okay, there's another question here. Uh, for this question, uh, prefer to cancer patient is deficient and weak and has a large tumor and you can use it both. If the pulse is jumpy, would that indicate heat? Yes. Heat cleaner, yes, there's several. Come on, you didn't see that? The zhu zhu 
and the Hu Zhang and the Pui is all heat cleaners. Pui is for <coughs> for injury, <coughs> for the uh, <coughs> for acute injury. With pain combo address nerve pain, of course. Breaking stagnation would dissipate the heat. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. And, okay, okay, okay. How do I stop this one? Oh, here. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next page. I have to close this, huh? Compare mighty and the pain combo, like I said, it's kind of similar. The mighty combo is part, uh, 30% of them are used for lump or mass inside the human body. But pain combo don't do that. So if it's uh, the pain in the breast, like uh, there's a lump there, or the lump in the uh, thyroid area, or the lump inside the uterus, or endometriosis, or gallbladder, mm. the swelling gallbladder head, or I'm treating a lady with the swelling pancreas tail, mm. and uh, I'm, uh, some somebody the stomach has a lump in there. They have a hernia too, and that condition you want might want to use my mighty combo for lumps because it has sunlin and azu, azu. But pain combo is majorly just for pain for unknown reason. Actually, there gotta be a reason, but I cannot, cannot show you the uh, uh, exactly conditions, but I'm sure you, you will encounter all kind of a patient, all kind of pain, major complaints to pain. So if you have <clears throat> not very familiar with my pulse signs, you just simply use my pain combo. It works, it never fail. Okay. One question. Okay. Circulation Sun Jiao specializes in treating various kinds of a lower abdominal pain, menstrual pain, and blood stagnation. This one, like a like the name of it, circulation. Circulation means blood stagnation. So well, this one is especially designed for pure stagnation, like a traffic jam. Uh, I use this one. Ah. Okay, this is based on somebody uh, from Qing Dynasty. This guy, Mr. Wang, Dr. Wang, is very good with the combination, all kind of blood moving uh, uh, formulas. They, they, he used this one for all kind of a major problem. Let me tell you something. There's more under the name of circulation sun jiao. First is xue fu zu yu tang. If you want to talk about xue fu zu yu tang, I can talk about about three days and three nights without the end. Ge xia zu yu tang and zhe chong yin. So in, in using this kind of a combination, you must be sure that the, the patient is not taking any blood thinner. Uh, otherwise, you don't touch it. It's too dangerous. As for Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, it's a very famous invention, very popular invention in Qing Dynasty for everything, not only for pain. I'm talking about pain here, but Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, please bear in mind. When, okay, let, let's put it this way. When you're treating a patient with different kind of complaints, insomnia, anxiety, stress, neck pain, stomach, uh, uh, upset stomach, menstrual condition, joint pain, and even fatigue, uh, stress, and everything. When you try everything, all the formula according to the, following the patient's demand or following the patient's major complaint and then work, try this chef Fu Zhu Yu Tang. Especially, we'll be talking about something about this, this 
autonomical disorder, uh, which is very popular in modern world, everybody has said either it's either stress or depression or <coughs> anxiety. If you use all kind of a uh, tranquilizer, it didn't work. Try this Shifu Zhu Yu Tang. People with nightmares, with the with with somebody walking in their dreams, somebody just start yelling at night and cock. Doing a lot of crazy things. Try Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, and Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang also, also. But in my idea, Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, I use it mostly for upper jaw. So the Chun, Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. How do I go back? The previous page. Yeah, you need to stop your. Uh... Stop. Oh, okay, okay. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The pause will be like this. Chun. One, the chun is deep and scattered. If you don't know what the scattered pause is, go to my pause book. <clears throat> and the chun, I like to use Jeffu Zui Tang for all kind of problem appear on the upper jaw, the head, the neck, and shoulder. <clears throat> Majorly is in is the uh, mentally disordered. If a patient have a problem with a sleep. With the、uh, concentrating or focusing on the job, or have bad temper or being bossy or whatever, if you, all other combination failed, try this. And also, Shifu Zui Tang is good for skin condition, for <clears throat> menstrual, even for、uh, wanting to have a baby, for digestion, everything. <clears throat> And Ge Xia Zui Tang. Ge means diaphragm, Xia means under. So I use this Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang for middle jaw for the problem in the middle, stomach, liver, gallbladder, and、uh, kidneys. So some kidney problem. The circulation, is, I mean the, <coughs> yeah, the circulation, the filtration rate of the kidney is lowered <coughs> somehow, not functioning properly. I use Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang as part of my combination. But for the、uh, digestion, of course, the middle stomach people, I don't feel like throwing up. I don't feel like eating. You can use Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang. When people saying I'm so frustrated, my mind is is not focusing, then you also can use Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang. So not only for pain, <clears throat> for stomach pains, definitely I will use it. And Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang also also good for the back pain if the back pain was caused. By some kind of a、uh, lump inside stomach area, and Zhezhongyin, like I mentioned, for all kind of、uh, internal organ pain. So I use this combination for all kind of、uh, stagnation. For example, like this one.、Uh, Okay, see, this area is red, but this is not the upper jaw. This is the head. Actually, I would say this area is, is the inner ear, which will cause like a dizziness. See those lines there? That means the sleeping condition is terrible. See this area? This is the colon, and this is the.、Uh, Actually, following this line, this one is the urination system, and combine. Here and here, the testicle.
there's some blood stagnation or lump on the testicle area. So this guy must have some kind of urination discomfort. And see the redness here? That's the inflammation of the colon. And see the brownish color here? That's the hip. That's got to be some kind of a old injury. And see this area? This is the pelvic. It's all dark. That means all the dead blood in the abdomen area. He definitely will have pain. This is the head. See? The head. It's a blood, blood stagnation. But this, this area has some kind of a redness. That means inflammation. So you can use this uh, circulation sanja or even my pain, a com pain combo or first the mighty combo. They will all work. Any questions? Any questions? Let me see question and answer. We have a nominous attendant attendee. Xiao Fu Zhu Yitang does not much for abdominal pain. What do you do with patient on blood? <laughs> what do I do with patient on blood thinness? I will let you know later. Have you paid the fee? What do you use for Ge Xia Zhu Yitang for kidney? Oh. The, the, the kidney combo, the kidney combo will be... Uh, We'll be, we'll be talk about in the, the, the coming different uh, uh, seminars. I have a very good, very interesting, uh, I got a lot of cases and herbs combination for kidney function, not for sexual hormone kidney, for real kidney. For, for example, the BUN is high, the creatinine is high, the EGFR filtration rate is low. I can do that. Okay, so the circulation center is for all kinds of pain, not necessarily the, uh, in the body trunk, also for legs and the swelling feet, everything. See, I have a compare. The use of Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang, Ge Xia Zhu Yu Tang, Ze Chong Yin, use along versus combo like circulation center. Or you can do whatever you like, you can use them separately. For example, like I said, Xue Fu Zhu Yu Tang is for upper gel. That's what I use, actually goes everywhere, but majorly I'll, I'll be focusing on the upper part, the Fu Zhu Yu Tang. Like I said, emotional headaches, especially those headaches cannot be treated by Chuan Xiong Cha Tiao San, then you can use Xie Fu Zhu Yu Tang. And uh, for people with eye problems, <laughs> I was treating a, a young girl, 17, with the uh, problem with the eye, eye vision and everything. I give him I give her this this the, the blood combination plus long tan she gan tang because she has liver fire and the liver a uh, gallbladder channel when in goes into the eye and, and I use that and even she's been treating by a steroid and now the doctor said she's making a lot of improvement. Her parents was very happy. Well, so she she for Zoe Tang not only for for, for the pain or something. It's for, for all kinds of stagnation in the upper jaw, for like old injury, trauma, whatever. And especially remember, Xie Fu Zhu Yitang is good for emotional disturbance. Ge Xia Zhu Yitang like it just, if you can read Chinese, that will be more better. Ge means diaphragm, Xia means under or beneath. So it's in the middle jaw. Zhe Chong Yin is for all kinds of a, uh, uh, organ pain, internal pain. Use along with combo like this. Just put them all you want. Use one of them, it's fine. Put them together, are stronger. Uh, there is a very um, a famous formula called Intern Hao Tang. Have you guys ever heard of it? It's a combination of Da Huang. And intern is for gallbladder problem, gallstone, gallbladder, 
uh, all kind of inflammation, swelling, gallbladder, even for liver cirrhosis, uh, cancer, and gallbladder, and, and even for pancreas inflammation. They they studied it. If you use zizi alone, okay, it works too. If you use intern uh, alone, yeah, it works. And if you use da huang, it won't work. But but put them three together, they become a very strong, mighty group, and it can destroy everything. So that's what I'm doing here. Fang Jia Fang, as explained earlier by Tina, they put some several formulas together to make a great team. We don't do it individually. Teamwork is the most important. The questions. Do you use circulatory syndrome someone after a large surgery or operation? That depends the patient's condition. If the tissue they operate is still inflamed or not, or still have some pain or something, you have to justify by yourself. The, the patient's condition is full of dead blood or full of inflammation. If the inflammation is pretty high, we have something coming up next. Why don't you use Shao Fu Zhu Yu Tang for lower jaw? Shao Fu Zhu Yu Tang is for warming up the lower jaw. It's not for the pain. I use it for uh, infertility, for people with like, uh, endometriosis, which is considered to be a very severe cold condition and uh, constriction. I don't use it for abdominal pain. Can Shao Fu Zhu Yu Tang be used for high pitch? Try it. It might work. This is Da Huang at Incheon. Incheon, Bei Incheon, as Tina. Okay. Compare circulation, Sanjiao, and the. Uh, oh, what is. Oh, Sui Zi. I like this Sui Zi. Sui Zi is a very good herb, uh, but there's two exceptions expensive and a little bit dangerous because I'm not sure about your patient. Are they anemic or not? Are they taking any uh, blood thinner or something? So I just skip the Sui Tzu. You can add it individually if you discover the patient is severely jammed, blood stagnation, especially cuckoo, emotional disturbance, crazy people with crazy thoughts or uncontrollable behavior or bipolar, whatever that condition, you can add a little straight to it. But be careful, huh? Would you use it as a large? I never heard of it, that term, sorry. Okay, compare. Huh? Oh, mighty combo, pain combo, circulation, Sancho, like I said, mighty combo is for people with lump inside, not just injury or blood stagnation. Pain combo is for unknown condition. You, haven't, you don't have time, you don't have ability to make the proper diagnosis and the patient is complaining Oh, you all have this pain, have that pain. You don't even know the pain coming from the internal organ or from the from the extremities, from joints, or from any spasm or something. You just simply use it. Circulation sanjiao is more for pure blood stagnation. How do you justify it? Use the ear point. If you have time, learn my pulse diagnosis. My teaching all this for 45 years, uh, including 25 years in Taiwan, 20 years, that the major goal of my study and my teaching is let you do diagnosis without asking patient first. My goal and your goal should be don't ask if you want to be a successful doctor. Don't ask a patient, hey, how do you feel today? What can I do for you today? Don't ask him directly. Uh, instantaneously take the pulse, watch the ear, watch the body signs, and 
tell your patient what's wrong with them. That's the only way to gain patients, uh, uh, the, the confidence from your patients. They won't treat you as a, a painter. They will treat you as artist who knows everything. And all the patients, all your money will come pouring in. So if you can, or if you don't do it now, you should try. Don't ask. When the patient sits in front of you, take the pulse, watch the body signs, watch the ear, uh, ear signs, and tell them what's wrong with them. If you want to be a good doctor, do that. Cystinuria, never heard of it. This is Chinese medicine. This is not a medical doc, medical school. After recently attending, oh, the, the, this is a very clinical manual. You can uh, read it by yourselves. So, so the, this is good, successful condition of circulation sanjiao. Was a result of a cliff, oh, five years ago, in which he sustained a sensitive crashing injury to the bones. Three injuries, uh, sorry, three surgeries to attempt to repair the damage. Damage, that's the good word for using circulation sanjiao most of the time. He could not stand anything touching. What a poor boy. Then two weeks ago, I put him on circulation sanjiao the first week, some diminishment of pain occurred, but the second week, because the blood, I, I'm sorry, because the medicine is moving the blood. But the second week, he was in the miracle. He came to his appointment with his shoes on. Ah, isn't that great? Later on, they damaged the therapist. It was like massaging a normal person. Thanks again. Of course, that's the great achievement. <laughs> As update this week, when I saw this young man, he had a little continued improvement. What we were talking about? See how great our Chinese medicine is. Okay. I'm not going to take a break. I don't care if you're tired or not. I'm not. I'm going to keep on talking. Okay? Continue. Sure.